Right now we're gonna do a little bit of legs today. Also, we're gonna kind of finish some of the body parts. At this time right now, we're gonna start off with some leg extensions and we're gonna show you how to get some big quads. Talk to you later. <laughs> So 12 to 15 reps. You want to walk your knees before you go into a heavy compound and movement like squat. Right now you're going to start on leg press and you're going to make sure that you get this leg nice and pumped and after that we're going to go to squats. See you soon. as smooth as possible, making sure you come as far down as possible and going all the way up. This motion really works the front thighs, which is this area right here. Okay, the leg press is a great exercise. It also develops the thighs, and it makes the thighs look like they're actually overlapping the kneecap. So it's a good mass builder, and it's something that you should do for three to four sets with the warm up included, from 12 to 15 reps. Make sure the weight is not excessive, and you want to protect the knees at all times. We're going to move to the next exercise, which is the squats, and see you soon. This exercise is great for mass builder, builds up the glutes, the thighs, also the lower back, and it's a good exercise if you want to build the overall thickness of your thighs. The squats, you're going to do four sets, 12 to 15 reps, and you want to also wear a belt when you start going heavier. Right now I'm not wearing a belt, I'll just finish warming up. Of course I'm tired, of course you want to be safe, you want to wrap your knees, wear a belt, and make sure you do not overstress your knees. Always protect your knees at all times. Next exercise is going to be hack squats. Peace. Hack squat, this exercise is good for the sweep of the thighs. This gives the illusion that your thighs are jumping off your hips. 
for mass building. You want to stay relatively light. You don't want to put stress on your knees. If you feel that your knees starting to bother you, you want to wear knee wraps. Again, we just finished doing hack squats. You want to do around three sets of 12 to 15 reps. That rep range is good for building muscle, and at the same time, it's not going to put your knees in danger. You want to make sure the weight is not excessive so that you don't put any damage on your knees. You want to make sure the weight is light enough so that you can control it in a full range of motion. All right, right now we're going to go to hamstrings. Let's get it started. See you soon. Finish doing some hamstrings. You want to keep the weight extremely light. You want to do high reps between 15 to 20 reps. Hamstrings are the most vulnerable muscle group to get pulled. Or you want to keep the reps very strict. You want to keep the motion smooth and non jerky. You want to make sure that you do full range of motion because the hamstrings are long muscle. Okay, we just finished doing hamstrings. Right now we're going to go to calves and we're going to finish up the workout. At the end of the workout, we're going to do a little bit of posing. Let you see what I'm looking at. Again, we got three weeks until the Ironman. I'll see you soon. Peace. We just finished doing some hamstrings, the two exercises we just finished performing were lying leg curls and stiff leg deadlifts. These are the two staple exercises that you can perform to develop the hamstrings. Hamstrings are a very prone muscle to get injured. You don't want to pull them or tear them. I recommend that you do 15 to 20 reps of three to four sets of lying leg curls and stiff leg deadlifts. Thank you guys. We're going to finish up with calves. And I will see you next episode. Peace. We just finished doing some calves with seated calf raises. The next exercise is going to be standing calf raises. The seated calf raises is great for building the soleus muscle. That's the muscle that lies beneath the gastrocnemius. And I'm going to tell you right now, seated calf raises are the most important exercises of the calf muscle because it lies beneath the gastrocnemius. It helps the gastrocnemius protrude and gives it a diamond look. So let's move on to standing calf raises and to conclude the workout. Let's go upstairs. Peace. Mm -hmm. That's it guys, we just finished doing some calves. We're going to make sure the reps are between 15 to 20 reps. We want to do at least five sets of standard calf races. 
That means you did four sets of seated cow races of 15 or 20 reps, and you also did five sets of standing cow races of 15 or 20 reps. I firmly believe that developing your calves doesn't require using excessive weight. I think your form and technique is more important. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a good road to developing your muscle, and I'll see you later. Peace.